Yo, what's up guys, it's the Goblin. Today what I have for you guys is a MOAB on the new map terminal, which just came out about an hour ago, and this is actually my second game playing on it, and I got the MOAB here. It's a pretty quick MOAB, about three minutes, and uh, basically I'm going to be going over, just basically showing you guys what the map terminal looks like in MW3, and giving you guys some tips for it and stuff like that. So if you guys don't know, Terminal was one of my favorite maps in MW2, and it was definitely a great map overall. And the things that are a bit different about this, uh, the version of MW3, is basically no changes at all that I can notice. You know, sometimes when they bring it back an old map, they'll open a trap door or something like that in this map I don't really find any of those you know differences it looks the same to me and the only difference is that this middle building which used to be a library is now more lit up as you can see right here um, it's got posters on the walls it's more lit up and especially when you come in here you know you, the, the lights light up and you can see everything all around it so basically some tips for terminal is um, well from MW2 you know there's always air spawn on this thing and you always want to spawn trap them at a flag and it's the exact same in this game when playing domination this was kill confirmed but you want to keep them spawning on the a flag and the reason for that is they'll spawn in that shop and the spawns are very whack on this map, especially for kill confirmed. I was noticing that people will spawn all over the map on this thing. You know, they were spawning out behind me, they were spawning in front of me, all over the place. I actually got shotgunned by some guy who randomly just spawned and, you know, shotgunned me in the back. So you have to watch out for some of the spawns. Some of the main spawns are down by B domination in the back, down back by here where you can look out over the escalators, over by A domination, and back by the metal detectors. Those are the main spawns for kill confirmed. Basically what you do is just rotate around the middle area, try and stay out of this middle hallway obviously you can get picked off there quite easily and one tip that I have for you guys is to watch out for the cockpit in the plane it seems like these kids that I'm playing against have never seen a plane before and they are just obsessed with going in that cockpit so what you want to do is basically just watch out for the cockpit right you want to every time I go by in the middle area always have your gun aimed down on the cockpit and be able to spray in there and stuff like that and that is something that is very risky and right here this guy in our game curve bullets he actually recognizes me he was in the party and he recognized me and he almost got me killed there I would have been pretty pissed off if he got me killed but uh, no uh, luckily he didn't and I was able to get the Moab this game but yeah when you're walking down the middle always aim down at the cockpit and take some shots in there that's the risky part of it you know you can't watch your left you can't watch your right right when you're going down the middle so I prefer to stick around this back area and not out by B domination you know there's that little hut there I like to call it Pizza Hut just cuz in Modern Warfare 2 it was red and it was a hut so I would just call it Pizza Hut I definitely recommend staying back on this side of the escalators when you get down over to B domination there's not much cover and you're pretty much wide out in the open and you can get easily picked off and stuff like that out there Another area that you're going to watch out for is up on top of this balcony. And up on top of that balcony is a very high traffic area. People like to go up there and go for sniper shots, go for all that good stuff. They think that it's a good camping spot, when in reality, it's not really. I wouldn't recommend it. I would say just sit behind these head glitches, trust your uh, gun skill, and you know basically use your headset and stuff like that. This map is very quiet compared to what I was used to in MW2. You know, I had Cyrep Pro on here, and I actually had time to go for the double MOAB this game. I actually, some guy spawned behind me and ruined the double MOAB. I thought I was going to get it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I pick up the MOAB right here in a second. So stay to this side of the map. Keep them at A if you're playing Domination. And let me know um, in the comment section below if you guys are excited for Terminal being back in MW3. Me personally, I am quite a bit excited for it. You know, this map's going to be lots of fun to play. I've already had fun on it in the two games that I played. I'm going to go play some more on the other maps. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and leave a like rating. You know, I'm staying up all night playing these maps for you guys getting the MOABs. So hopefully you guys can all click that like, but it only takes half a second. And here you show me calling in the MOAB. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that and then leave a like. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace.